Cassie, what is this test that is super simple that is going to tell us so much about ourselves? So this test is called the box or the cube test, and it was developed by a Japanese psychologist to give you quick insight into your subconscious. There are multiple layers to it, so we could ask lots of questions, but we're just going to do the first layer, the first part of it today. So I need you all to imagine that you are in a desert, a big, vast desert. There's no hotel, nothing. Don't worry, you have food and water, but like it's just desert, okay? Okay. There is a cube in the desert, okay? You don't say out loud what it looks like yet. Just visualize it in your mind. Note the size. I hope it's an ice cube because I am thirsty. <laughs> you got water. Told, you've got a canteen on you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it can be water if you want. I am not here to dictate what your cube huh. looks like. Okay. So your cube can be made out of anything. So note what it's made out of, how big it is, and where exactly is it? Like, how close or far away is it? Is it in the distance? Is it right next mm-hmm. to you? Don't overthink this. Just the first things that yeah. come to mind. I already did. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your insight. Congratulations, Dom. You figured out the test. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does everyone yes. have their cube and what it looks like? Okay. Yes, and where it is in reference yep. to where we are in the desert. So, Kristen, how big is your cube? Um, it's a cube that can fit in my hand. Okay. Mo, how big is your cube? A little bigger than that. Probably twice the size. Okay, and Davi, how big is your cube? It was like a little over knee high. Okay. I'm standing next to it. <laughs> the size of your cube represents your ego. So the size of your... No, that's a good thing, because some people have cubes the size of mansions. Like, there is no limit on this cube. So it means that you all have good egos, and they're not out of control. They can fit through a door frame, so that's good. Okay. <laughs> your ego can fit through it. <laughs> if your ego can fit through a door, you're good. Yeah, right, you're, you're solid. <laughs> okay. okay, Kristen, what is your um, your cube made out of? It's just it's a clear plastic cube. Okay, so if it's transparent, yeah. Uh, well, if it's, it's smooth, plastic is smooth, it means you're kind-hearted and passionate, but can sometimes be a pushover. Um, because it's clear and transparent, that means you're open and honest, but sometimes you're too open and emotionally overwhelmed. But you're confident, though, and you hold your own. I don't like this test because it is really <laughs> 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 um, You have sufficiently freaked me out this morning, Cassandra. <laughs> Davi, what's yours made out of? It's like a cardboard box with some grease stains on it. <laughs> So it's a pizza box. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cube. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, cardboard, would you agree? It's kind of rough. Yeah. 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 Okay. It means you're straightforward and honest, but sometimes too overbearing. And I would say com- cardboard's kind of bumpy, too, which means you're indecisive at times, but very strong-willed. There we go. Now, right. is it is it a light or a dark colored cardboard? Mm, with the grease stains. Some more dark colored cardboard. Okay. Well, that's how heavy you feel with burdens that you're carrying. Nice. So if it's dark, you're carrying a lot of burdens. I don't like this cube. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, what's yours look like? Mine was like like glass, pretty much. Like a smooth glass. Okay. So kind of the same as Kristen's then. You're kind-hearted yep. and passionate, but can be a pushover. And you're open and honest, but sometimes too open and emotionally overwhelmed. But you are confident and you hold your own. So that cube, it represents you. Now, how far away is the cube from you, Kristen? It was literally right in front of me. Like, you said it, I looked down, there it was, and I picked it up. Okay, Mo, how far away was the cube from you? It was about, i say, 11 feet. Okay. <laughs> I love yeah, I it. I love I the specific... I, that's no, that's important. Was, okay, that's, that's where it was at when I saw it. I, I dig it, man. I dig it. <laughs> Davi? Mine was like super far. I had to run up on it. <laughs> super far. It was like 50 feet away. It was a thousand feet. Okay. How close or far the cube is away from you is how well you feel that you know yourself or the struggle. So if it's really far away and it was really hard to get to or it took effort to get to, it's going to take some effort to really get to know yourself. But if it's super close, like in your hand, you feel pretty much like you know who you are and you have yourself figured out at this point in life. Hmm. Hmm. I need this cube to stop telling me all about myself. I do not appreciate <laughs> Appreciate it. This cube talks too much Dude, crap. Right? Do we owe this cube money for a therapy session yeah. today? Like, no, but y'all can Venmo me if you want at The Real Cassie. <laughs> Where did you find this? It was. I just found it on the internet. It's legit. It's done by a Japanese psychologist. I was just down some internet wormhole and found it. And there are more questions about stuff in the desert. We could do another time if you guys, if you want no, more insight you. into your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta spend one hundred fifty dollars talking to my therapist about a damn cube. <laughs> I need to get closer to my therapist. <laughs> the Bird Show.